Hello there. My name is Tier Willen, and I want to talk to you today about my research regarding Egypt. Now, I've been working on this subject for days now, well, several weeks, if not a couple of months, and I have found some stuff that is truly mind altering, perspective ch changing, shattering, radical. Hey, um, this is of a, I, I created a PowerPoint for this, which is currently, I think, 50 slides long, and difficult to, de to, to de define in, in, in words how radically complicated it is. <sighs> well, first off, let's, let's begin with um, the concept, the fictional concept of the, of, of the of the TV show and movie, um, well, it began with a movie and then went into a TV show and then went into two, two, two other movies, and is in pre-production again for possibly a, a relaunch of the series because there's so much money to be made on it. However, the the concept of the Stargate, the 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 fictional concept of Stargate. It revolves around a, uh, in a fictional language of Gould, uh, G-A-U-L-D, with an apostrophe between the A and the, D and the U, Gould. There was a Stargate in front, of, um, on the Giza Plateau, in front of either the Great Pyramid or the, the, the Caffrey Pyramid. Now, facts and evidence. There is a deity associated with each of the pyramids, and the, and the deity that was associated with each of the pyramids, a lot of them, at least five to six or seven of them, have a sun disk as part of their headdress, a disk, the Aten. You have the, the, a round disk. And then you have arms, you have arms coming from the disk. You have the disk here and the arms coming down from that. As you examine this evidence, that metaphorically is where the concept of Stargate came from. Okay. So you have the pyramid, and then you have the causeway, and you have one or two or three research temples, research um, laboratory think tanks between the, the, the pyramid and the, the, the farthest away uh, entrance temple to the causeway because there, there's a, there was a temple, a building, a complex, a sequence of rooms uh, with with a roof on it um, or roofs on it, depending on how the configuration where it was designed. A complex of a, a building or a building, a complex of buildings that was at the at the entrance to the causeway to, to be able, and the the end of the, the exit of the causeway is obviously the parent the, the pyramid which of the 16 that's a good question so if you enter the pyramid and you do uh, enter the causeway and you do your thing in the, in the pyramid and then do do whatever rituals and such going on in there what have you and then you come back out my thought concept and assumption is is that if you then apply the disc over the, the over with the assistance or what have you of the deity of that specific temple of that specific uh, pyramid and so on and so forth, then you, what you have is you have an ability to have metaphorically speaking uh, Einstein Rosenbridge in the circle the the chapa eye the, the the stargate between that point between the, the exit, structure, building, temple, what have you, of that pyramid, the, the, the farthest away um, where the causeway ends of that pyramid, you have that, and then as for the bent, the bent pyramid, it bisects the the cave underneath the where, where the Temple Mound is, where King Solomon's Temple used to be, and all Freemasons should be paying very, very close attention to this, 
because it was also a a receiving temple, an entrance temple, a an entrance building or complex or what have you. Before you got to you got before you got into the into the actual complex of the that was the the temple complex of King Solomon's temple. You have King Solomon's temple, and you have some outbuildings and some other outbuildings, and then you have a wall. Well, each of the well the wall had an entrance to the has had a gate to the north, south, and east. The west was a library that was directly connected to the the King Solomon's temple itself. There was a so north is a, is a bit weird, but it was a library. It was not a gate. So you have you have a great deal of stuff going on here. So you have a a launch pad for example, for for lack of a better word, and that launch pad is millions of tons of granite and limestone, both of which are over ninety percent quartz. Well, what happens when you compress quartz? The exact identical thing happens when you compress quartz in the air on 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 land and in the water. If you take a very thin slice of quartz and a very and a, and a, and a very very thinly sliced co um, powdered uh, sheet of, sheet of copper piece of copper quartz copper quartz copper quartz copper quartz copper in several inches if not six to eight inches of, of space I don't have no idea how much room that is used in sonar in a submarine if you've ever seen a, a, a submarine movie or a, a submarine TV show or any of that that kind of stuff there's that there's that ping, there's that, that bing, and they're, they're listening, there's a, there's a sound wave, a sound associated with things moving around, either the you know, depth to the ground, depth to the bottom of the ocean, or depth to another vehicle, to, to another thing, or depth to um, a, a, a torpedo or some of that effect. Well, there, well the, as pressure waves hit the quartz, the quartz then releases electricity, that, that electricity goes into the copper, and the copper then then connect to it to a wire that goes to a speaker and then chirps. That whole process proves that when you compress quartz, you it releases electricity. Well, if you do whatever you're you're going to do in the in, in the in the pyramid, millions and millions of tons of granite, millions of tons of quartz of uh, of quartz in that granite, ninety percent, ninety five percent quartz. And limestone is 75 to 90 percent quartz, 95 percent quartz, depending on on what variety of, of of limestone you're using. So you have massive, massive amount of, amount of limestone, amount of quartz that's being used. So is is there a power generation? Is there electricity being generated by the by, by the pyramid complex to be able to power some type of a stargate, a chapa eye? To be able to enter that Chapa Eye and be able to travel the 270 miles to to King Solomon's Temple, at least from the Bent Pyramid. Now, there's a pyramid about seven north of, of the Bent. The Bent is all the way on the, on the is the farthest south pyramid. The Jidifri is the farthest north. There's a pyramid that has a semi-difficult name to pronounce. I haven't learned how to how to how to pronounce it yet. That that is just north of the of the of the um, of the Pepin the First Pyramid. Well, that causeway just a little bit north of that. That causeway, I was wrong before in, in previous. I, there's a causeway that bisects the, the the cave of the Nativity. I was just wrong as to which one because I I hadn't done did done the digging into the research yet to find out which one. But it's the one north of of Pepin the first that bisects the cave of the nativity which means that the that the founding that the that the wise men that the wise persons that the educated to the the scholars with uh, frankincense um, gold frankincense and myrrh who came to the birth of Jesus or whatever his name was Emmanuel they had a map to get there the map that they had was the pyramid structure was in the pyramid structure is intense to say the absolute least. The pyramids are the double spine of Janus. One face looking west, one face looking east. Now, 
It's the it's for, from the in, internal section of the brain to min, to mid spine is the west face. From mid spine to the to the pelvis is the east face. And from the bottom of the pelvis, the tail, the the, the humans have a tail. It's just fused and not non non workable, non usable. The the very the bottom bone is called the coccyx, which is that pyramid. That's also connected to to the east. Um, it's all it's connected to the to the east, um, to the west face, to, to the west looking face as well. So you have that is Janus, the the Roman schema of Janus, the which is the, what the Momentum Mori ceremony was was all about, and then that creates the the whole infrastructure of the Momentum Mori ceremony, which is which half of it took place, or at least a quarter of it took place, in the Roman Forum. Part A took place from the from the Vatican Hill, where St. Peter's Basilica and St. Peter's uh, Square are now, across the bridge, across the 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 plain of Mars, um, either up and over the Capitoline Hill or around the Capitoline Hill, into the the um, into the Curia Julii, which is the which is one of the buildings of the Roman Senate, around that to Traitor's Post, where the commander would would be would be put on trial and then executed for being an enemy of the state. The the important thing to remember in all this is is that. The same exact technology that created the Stargate, fictionally, of course, created the Enterprise, a warp, a warp engine, and warp, and, and, and warp um, core and such. It creates the same Einstein Rosen bridge, whether they fixed each of the entrance temples to the pyramids has a destination a specific destination. Now, there are there are, are the Khufu pyramid bisects Everest, but there's also several other sites before in that three thousand miles before Everest. The um, the Kefri bisects, among other places, Sri Lanka. Memkeri bisects se several locations, um, including. The mouth of the um, the Suez, where the Red Sea starts, the Sea of Reeds that bisects that area. So there's all kinds of, of intricate places. The Bent bisects King, uh, King Solomon's Temple. The one north of the of, of the Pepin the First bisects the Cave of the Nativity, and so on and so forth. Um, there could be in this sequence of evidence. There could be a application, a direct application involved regarding the functionality and structure of some type of a ancient 2600 BC to 2100 BC, um, faster than light travel on the planet Earth, to be able to to go to these place, go back and forth between these places, using. Some type of a Stargate, some kind of a Eisen Rosenberg, um, Einstein Rosenbridge. Um, how that would work exactly is an extremely good good question. But there's enough mathematics, and there's enough evidence in the in the architecture left behind, and enough and how much the the Hyksos absolutely hated, were disgusted by hated the old kingdom. How much the the old kingdom was hated, and how much the and how much their evidence was 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 sought after to destroy, is more than enough evidence to suggest that, that this completely fictionalized idea might actually have a have a ring of truth to it. So that is um, that is my current video. Thank you very much. Uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the hit the, the subscribe channel, hit the hit the bell for new updates, and hit the like button on this specific one. And I'll do more videos. Thank you so much.